Hey makers, welcome to part four of building the XL frame. For this step, we are gonna need the 12 foot two by fours that we've been using, as well as the two eight foot two by fours and two three foot two by fours. First, we're gonna lay the two by four by eight foot vertical frame legs on the floor and write vertical frame legs on them. And then we're gonna write bottom on the ends of each. So we always measure from that same side. Now, Measuring from the bottom, we're going to go 55 inches up on each one, 61.75 inches from the bottom, 76 inches from the bottom, and finally mark 82.75 inches from the bottom on each board. Once we've made these marks on each one, we're going to use the speed square to draw a straight line across on these marks. So we can use the speed square on our face of the board across the edge and then draw a line on each one of our measurements. For this next part, we need to find the exact center of a vertical frame leg. So measuring from the edge, so on the short side, we need to measure all the way across and then divide that by two to find the middle and then draw that center mark on each one of our lines that we made with the speed square. Then we're gonna align our speed score with those marks and draw a straight line between them, just like we're doing here. So you have a perfect intersection on these two points of the center of your vertical frame legs and our marks. Repeat that on the other side and we'll be ready for the next step. Now we're gonna put both of those vertical frame legs on the floor with the bottoms on the same side and we're gonna put the bottom beam that we made in the last part across that 55 inch line. Now the stud mount is what's gonna line up with that 55 inch line and that perpendicular center line that we made is gonna go through the center of the bottom and the top holes on our stud mount. So that line is a guide for us to make sure that the stud mount is mounted exactly in the center of our vertical frame legs. Now we're gonna line our top beam up with the 76 inch line. So line up the larger side of the stud mounts on that 76 inch line and ensure that the perpendicular center line goes through those center holes of our stud mounts. Once we have them lined up, then we're ready to screw them in. And again, make sure that they're perfectly squared for our frame. It's very important that it's square. Now we're gonna attach the horizontal legs. So grab our two by four by three foot boards and write back on the ends of each one. Then we're gonna align that back end to the inside of our vertical frame legs at a 90 degree angle. So you can see right here, it's gonna be flush with the bottom at a 90 degree angle on the inside. And then once we know that that's there and attached, we're gonna use three long wood screws to attach them in. Now it's very important that this is exactly flush and straight at a 90 degree angle because we want our frame to be square. Once you have your legs and your beams all attached together, then I'll see you in the next step.